This is my Sabbat Heat mini oven and I wanted to share a quick hack with you. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. So lately I've been buying rotisserie chickens from a local supermarket and I've been putting them in a cooler bag to keep them warm for an hour or two after I get them home. And what I realized today is that the rotisserie chicken will fit perfectly in the Sabbat heat. But of course, the issue with the Sabbat heat is that it will heat up too high because this is in a plastic container. So they sell the rotisserie chickens in like a plastic container. But with the Sabbat heat, they say don't use plastic because even on a low setting, the heat will eventually get up to 130 degrees Celsius, which is 266 Fahrenheit, which is too hot for this. However, what I realized was that my hot logic would be perfect for this because it would keep it warm, it wouldn't melt the plastic, there would be no issues of it being too hot. The only issue is that the hot logic, like the cooler bag, is not deep enough for the chicken. And even my Hot Logic Mini XL is not deep enough for the chicken. So what I did was I swapped out the heating element. So I took out the Sabbat Heat heating element and I put in the Hot Logic heating element and I plugged it in. And so this rotisserie chicken has been in here for almost three hours now and it's really nice and hot like it's still as hot as it was when I purchased it so I just wanted to share this hack I'm really happy that I got the Sabbath heat and I figured out this hack because this is gonna be great now when I pick up a rotisserie chicken in the afternoon I could keep it perfectly warm perfectly hot until dinner time and this is awesome so let's take the chicken out and see what's going on inside and here's the chicken. I mean, I don't know if you could see it, but it's steaming. Like, there's steam coming off of it. Can you see the steam coming off of it? And it's still very moist. It does not dry out in a hot logic. So that's, like, perfect for rotisserie chicken. And once again, I was able to do this because I swapped out the heating element from the Sabbat heat with the heating element for the hot logic. You can't do this with the heating element from the Sabbat heat because the manual says that over time it will get up to 266 degrees and that's too hot even on the lowest settings. So in order to do this, you have to have the heating element from a hot logic. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.